Good afternoon, Jimmy. Good afternoon. Thanks for doing this. Absolutely. Thank you. So you mentioned a minute ago that the biggest challenge you're facing in preparing is to get your weight down. And I know a lot of the female stars do these detox diets and weight loss plans to fit into their Emmy dresses. So I'm wondering what specifically you do to fit into your Emmy tuck. Uh, I maintain my weight uh, so far. So but the, all, the, all the things still fit. I tried the tucks on last night. It's all good. Uh, but I'm working out um, with uh, the situation from Jersey Shore. He's kind of my trainer these days. So I meet up with him. We sit around. We, we both do like 5,000 crunches. And then, uh, and then we just go to uh, Pinkberry and just talk about politics and stuff. Sounds efficient. <laughs> yeah, but uh, re- uh, to be honest, I- I've been drinking uh, green juice every day, uh, which you obviously know about. Uh, but it's a you know it's a mix of all that stuff like kale and spinach and cucumber, and it's pretty it's pretty it tastes like lawn clippings. Let's be honest. And it's uh, but it's I've been doing that, and then I'm just getting on the treadmill and doing a bunch of cardio, trying to trying to uh, get in shape. Just so I'm not out of breath reading reading names, <laughs> standing at a podium and reading names, puffing and puffing away. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. So I just want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So I'm I'm I am uh, on the treadmill every day. Great. And then there really is an, a growing number of weight loss shows on television: Biggest Loser, VH1, The Money Hungry, and uh, you know everything in between. I'm curious what your take is on these shows, and if there are any that you watch. Yeah, I mean, I, I watch Biggest Loser. Um, I watch, uh, I think it's amazing. I, I don't think, I mean, I, I like the idea of it that people can just see that they can totally physically change. They can look totally different. I mean, these, the winners look drastically different. And that, if you, you know, send that, uh, just you send that message out to people that if you do work out, it is possible you can completely change. I don't think uh, you'd have to quit your job and do nothing but work out all day, eight hours a day. And so it's not, I don't, it's going to take much longer than the, the eight weeks on the show. But I think I like the, the message that you could get healthy and get your, get your stuff together is pretty cool. Uh, Celebrity Fit Club, I'm not sure about that. That kind of, that kind of derailed it for me. I, I think the second season of that, they, they lost the fitness part of it and just wanted some scandal, and it just got weird. Mm-hmm. You know, but I, 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 I watch all those shows. I like any of that stuff. I think... You know, better than even the weight loss show is uh, like uh, Dr. Drew. I think that guy's awesome. Uh, you know, rehab, celebrity rehab, it's like crazy to watch someone in, going through rehab. It's just like even, it's just, and he doesn't try to, you know, make a big fight and make a big scandal out of it. He actually just tries to talk them through it and help them through it. And I think even sex rehab is a great show. I was thinking of going on sex rehab. But I have to... Thinking about it. I was thinking about it, but then... I figured I'd host the Emmys first. Right. Priority. <laughs> Priority, yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time, and good luck Sunday. Cool. Thanks, thanks, thanks.